for one of our favorite segments called Stuff My Mom Forwards Me. You know those chain emails you've all received from mom that make some pretty outlandish claims? Well, we set the record straight on whether they're true or not. This is an email making the rounds. How to lose weight, drink plenty of wine. I well, wish. <laughs> according to a 13-year study of 20,000 women, those that drank or drank half a bottle of wine were less likely to be obese. This is all part of the... Research shows red wine contains a chemical that can slow down the growth of fat cells and stop the formation of new ones and help you lose weight. If this is true, <laughs> cheers. Yeah. A new diet. But is it? I actually have noticed that when I'm drinking wine, I end up, maybe this is, I actually consume a little less. Mm -hmm. I kind of treat the wine as and all you. As a dessert or Yeah, meal? it's, it's, it's yeah. my, look, for some people it's soda with dinner. For me, I, I indulge in, I embrace every and, sip of it, and it's, it's part of my meal. And, and I don't eat more you, because you, of it, I probably eat less. you are drinking grape juice. Yes. Just like we are, but there's no added sugar. Right. To, to wines and liquor, unless you're using And yours is fermented, which makes a difference. But you, you know what I noticed is at the end of the day, this was before I was pregnant, if I had a glass of wine, kind of like what you were saying, I really wasn't quite as hungry, you know, so I didn't really eat as much. And it, I don't know if it was because I thought of it as a treat or if I was just a little tipsy and just, you know, food really wasn't on the radar. I think the theory is interesting because you look in some of these countries like France where red wine is a part of the daily ritual. They don't weigh as much as we do. Yeah. They, they don't. They walk more too, though. You it's know, public less processed food, probably. Really big in European countries. Less right. processed food, definitely. Less preservatives in their food, too. But I mean, the point is, if all you're doing is drinking wine, that's no kind of diet. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know what the well, typical look is. Got another somebody... problem. Hey, look, everything a in moderation. And I think if you balance out that nice glass of red wine with maybe cutting back a little bit on the number of calories Something you're else. indulging in. Treat yeah. this as a true, I don't want to say dessert, yeah. but it's, it's either a dessert, it's an appetizer. If you overindulge, you're going to put on weight. If you do it the right amount, who knows? Maybe it does have, maybe. Maybe. It, maybe it's neutral. There probably will be more studies on this, I think, if we do the studies the right way. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the ideal amount? We always right. throw out one drink for women, two drinks for yeah. men. Um, I do think someday there's going to be a point where we say, okay, this is, this is the perfect amount. If you're looking to maximize your health and not minimize it, um, and heck, if this does come out to be true that, you know, drinking a glass a day doesn't make you weigh more, um, maybe it's more incentive for people not to overindulge. You've got some maybe. pretty nice legs going on there, Travis. I, I actually That's, really like this, this glass wine of wine. Is, I'm surprised. I, I wasn't like expecting to like this. not too shabby. My grape juice tastes like prune juice. Look at that. <laughs> so will you swirl it? Well, that may be a good thing, too. <laughs> we'll be right back here.